Hello everyone, welcome you all for the next lecture of the course Cellular with Java. In the previous lecture, we have completed the uh, last lecture of module 3, Selenium Action. Okay. This is the extension of last lecture only. Uh, last lecture, we have done Selenium Action and we have uh, uh, done programming for this uh, mouse click for one by one argument. But if you want to print the whole manual, then we have to use for loop. So how to apply for loop with Excel class? Let's see now. Okay, this is a simple program. Okay, uh, again we have taken the URL of open source orange HRM line. We have taken URL of open source HRM line. Okay, since it's an open source software and anyone can have access on it, so I have used this first system dot set property means. For defining which type of driver we are using, we are using Chrome driver, web driver dot Chrome driver, then location of the Chrome driver, then object of this web driver, it goes to new Chrome driver, okay, then URL. We want that uh, after opening this URL window should be in maximized form, uh, then web driver dot manage for managing window dot window. What we want to do, we want to do maximize window, okay. Now, if you want to print the title of the web page, then CSO command, title of web page, driver dot get title. Get title is a command for getting the title of the URL. Uh, this is the uh, WD means web driver dot find element for user uh, name, with send keys, password, and click. I have already explained, otherwise, I'll explain in the program directly now. Action command is for mouse click. Okay. Uh, now act equals to new actions list. Uh, we have to apply this. Okay. Uh, web element. Now we want the whole menu. So menu equals to wd dot find element by dot class name. Uh, that we will uh, see with inspect. Okay. Then we want to print this menu. Okay. Uh, then we will apply loop loop from I0 to menu up to menu size and one by one increment. We want to print the whole values that uh, dot get x command and we want to move the cursor also. So for that dot move to element command with perform. Okay. So let's see with the uh, detail in this. Uh, let's see in detail uh, in the program. So let's start here. Let's, let's start your um, eclipse. Okay. So I'm closing this PPT mode. I'm starting my eclipse. Okay. Now in eclipse, this is uh, a Selenium script your package. We have created in the module 3 Selenium script. Package in Selenium script. I have already done this program, but uh, again, I'm creating a new class for that, right click on your package. After right click, click on new and new click on class. Right click on, pa click on your package, new class. I'm giving name, uh, actions for multiple elements. For multiple element using for me. Okay. I'm adding, uh, including this main method. Finish. Okay. We know uh, the first step always is system dot set properties. I'm just copying from here. Okay. Copying from here. See system dot set property. We are taking web driver for dot from driver. Then uh, the location of from driver is at my system. It is in C drive, Selenium folder, and drive folder. But it's Chrome options. Options equals to new Chrome options. Then we have to add some arguments. Uh, otherwise, it will block this URL. It will not show the URL. So remove other options. Then web driver object. WD equals to new from driver. Here yeah. Okay. Uh, this command I will write after this URL. First URL will open, then we want to maximize it. We will get the title of the page. And this is for the weight command. Implicitly weight, that is a global weight. This weight is applicable for the whole program. Okay. Now run this. Only URL will open because we have not uh, given any credential till now. Okay. 
So this is your URL. When URL will open, then after opening, it will be maximized. So now I want to enter username and password. So place your cursor at username inspect. Then HTML command here to make this talk at the bottom side. Then again I'm inspect username now. This is a class. This is name. Okay. So either you can find element by username or using Xbox. I'm taking this username in the by name. Okay. So wt dot find elements dot find elements by dot name and the name is I have copied from the username name was username dot send this I want have to enter some username dot then he is not there, means there is a mistake over here. Yes, I have selected by mistake the elements. It's S only. The value. Okay. That's why suggestion was not there. So dot send is now what is the username that is admin? Right? Then close it. Okay. Similarly, we will do for password. Then for password, place a person over here, right click. Inspect. See here. Selected line. Type is password. Name is password. Uh, and ID is not there. So I'm again. I'll find element through this name. Name is password. So again, I'm coming back my selenium. So wd dot find element by dot name. The name is password not dot send keys and keys is admin one two three. Okay, close it. The next is see the username and password is already mentioned here. Next, we have to click on this login button. So then right click on login inspect. Okay. Inspect here, class name, no, nothing is there. So what you can, you can copy X part. Right click on this here, again listen. Right click on login, inspect this here. Here, right click, copy, copy X part. You can uh, either X, absolute part or relative X part. Okay, so WD, that is web driver, dot, find elements. By dot x bar and x bar is this. Now, what I want, I want to to click. So now it semicolon. Okay. Uh, now let's run this. Whether we are getting this or not. These are this uh, web element are working or not. Username, password, or click is working or not. So from start fit, URL is opening. Okay. Username entered, password entered, login button. Okay. Now we want to print this menu. Admin, PIM, leads, time, equipment, my info. I, I want to print this whole menu. Okay. So if I uh, write wg.find element one by one, so I have to write for each and everything. Means if I'll inspect over here, so I have to write command wg.find element make this top and bottom. Okay, then uh, we have to write for PM, B. this is the language process. I have to write for each one. No, we'll create a list and we will write uh, uh, one time for the whole method. For that, we have to create a list. Okay, and uh, apart from list, uh, we want, what we want? Uh, we want to move our cursor. First cursor should be at admin, then PIM, then leave, then time, then recommend. Okay, two things I want. I want first cursor move, cursor shows, first admin. This should be darkened, then PIM, then leave, then time, then recommend ends up. Like this. And after this, whole menu should be printed at this console. Got it? So for cursor, uh, if you remember, we have used action class. So action. Initial, I am giving act action act equals to 
new action new actions then the driver okay uh, now action should be import so suggestions means cannot be result to type mean it should be import you see import actions okay import actions mean s actions s should be there okay actions then now we have to use list 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 for what list for web element list for web element okay list for web element now what we want to do we want to print menu menu okay and how to find menu it goes to wt dot find element okay now first we have to check uh, check where how we will get the menu see this is uh, your menu okay first right click on admin inspect right click on admin inspect see here class is oxd main menu item okay and at reference mean nothing is else it's an anchor class and the class name is this oxd main menu item then right click on pi module right click on pi module inspect see at pi module also the same class name then check leave module Inspect. Not the inspect. Here also class name is five C main menu item. Recruitment. See, we'll start from admin. In admin, uh, directly showing the body means uh, means there will be hidden class. So again, I'm you know, clicking on inspect. Class is uh, actually class is just OXD main menu item. See, this admin selecting menu. Actually, what happened if you, you will learn this HTML, there are some hidden items also. Okay. If, uh, I'll select this PI model. See in PIM also the class is same. See here, I'm clicking. Uh, when I was clicking on inspect, I was uh, this was uh, showing which text, but the class is this. And the uh, at see at uh, upper side PIM is same. When I click on leave, it shows the span class, but actually the class is this. See at upper side leave is selected over here. Upper side leave is selected, and here class name is OHD main menu. When I'll click on the time, time same, yes, see, class name is OXT, main menu item. So, means class name is unique for everything, it's uh, same for everything. For recruitment, uh, it is showing a span class, but actual class name is OXT, main menu item. Okay. Same for my info, see, it is showing a span class, but actual class is this. See, uh, at upper side, purple color in this box is there. So what is selected? My info. For my info also, the class name is same. And now for performance, it is showing span class, but actual class is this. That is written class. It's the main menu item. For dashboard, also same. So well, please, in short, uh, when we inspect this admin, then there is no ID, there is class name. So we will find element with this class name. Uh, this class name is same. So find element with this. Sorry, not directly. The so first by, by dot class name. The class name is okay. class name is Facebook. Okay. Now, do we don't want anything? We just we have to find this list. Okay, here it is closed. Now, CISO command, type CISO, control space bar, 
print the standard output. Here you want to print menu. Yes, I have to tell it in menu. Okay. List of the edit cross is there. Uh, showing means web element cannot be a type. So we have to import this. Okay. Import list java. Okay. For web element, import web element. Okay. And for this, happen. I have written uh, something wrong. Uh, maybe uh, syntax error. Let me check. Okay, see, list is for multiple elements. So here it should be S. I'm not used S. Okay, generally we use only fine element, fine element, fine element. But here list is for multiple elements. Or for multiple elements, class name is same. Okay. So now the menu will be printed. Now we will, we want to print menu, okay? And menu is menu dot size, okay? Size will means it will show how much values are there. So for that, I want to display size of the menu. Okay, now we'll use for loop. Okay, because we want each and every menu to print on the web, uh, on the console. For i equals to, you know, it very much i equals to zero. Okay, then i less than equals to or less than menu dot size. Because I have started from zero, so that's why less than sign. If I start from one, then there will be a total size, then i plus plus you know very well how to, how to write the same base for for you so we start it and then CISO command control write CISO control space bar okay what i want to print i print menu so menu dot menu dot first you have to get menu Okay. And menu is according to value of i. Menu is according to value of i. For and every menu, I want to get text. Get the every suggestion should be there. Dot. Get text. What happened here? System dot print and I will menu dot get i dot get this slide. Then I want move every cursor F2, move to element. I want cursor to move to every value. Every value means menu every value. So menu dot get i. And what I have to do, I have to Perform for moving this cursor. I have to build a solid form. Okay, we'll perform it and close this. Now we have to solve this error. I cannot be variable, so I have to mention this I is in data type. Solve. So when I change here, everything is solved. Okay, now let's see. We'll run this. Login, see, person is moving up to watch. Okay, person move up to this, then see the person. First, title of web page. Okay. Uh, that is already there. Menu is menu 11. What we have to put here? Uh, menu dot size. 
price should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right, menu is 11. Okay, if you see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, output is correct, menu is 11, but there should be some gap over here. Start it. Okay. Now, login done. Cursor is moving from admin PM, leave recruitment up to us. Then, see the here. Now, space is there because I have not entered this page over here. That's why it was looking like manual LL. But now, title of web page because here, CC command is here, title of web page. Okay. Then, wait for five seconds. Then username, password, login. After login, we have to use this action command list. Okay, from list elements means for all the elements of menu, this class name was same. Okay, so we have find such a uh, web element which is same for all the menu. So we will find element by class name. Then we have to print this menu dot size because we should know how much menus are used. So menu size is 11. Okay. Then we have uh, applied the loop from I02 up to menu size. Okay, menu size. This is the command. Get type, get text. With for every value, we'll get the text. And then first cursor will be moved. Okay, so in this way, we have learned how to use this, uh, how to apply this action class for multiple algorithms. Okay, so keep learning, keep sharing. We'll meet in next lecture. Thank you so much for this.